that's enough background, let's look at some of the real-life situations that you may come across at work. The cooperative run community stores, so very often our staff know their customers very well. Hi Mickey, I've not seen you since I left school. How are you? Yeah, yeah, good thanks. So you are uh, going to Jono's party tomorrow? No, we're going to town. Oh, all right. Cheers. Have you got your ID for this? Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, come on, Kelly, you know me. I mean, you know I'm older than you and you're 18. Well, I'll say you're 26. Cheers. That's 10.99, please. Cheers, Kel. Thank you. Oh, thanks a lot. I'll uh, see you around here. Yeah? Okay, bye. Hiya. That's 169, please. Thank you. Aren't you supposed to ask someone like that for ID? Oh, it's fine. I know him. It is fine. He doesn't look nearly old enough to buy a vodka. I know he's old enough. It's all right. Yeah, but it's not the point, is it? Do you know what? It's all right. I'll sort this. I'll have a word with the police. Wait. No, but... I always ask for ID, and besides, it was busy, and I know Mickey, I know he's old enough to buy vodka, even if he does look a bit young. I, I can't believe she's going to the police. You see, Kelly knew her friend Mickey was 18, even if he didn't look it. But other customers wouldn't know that. To them, Kelly gave the impression she was serving someone underage. When the till asks you to enter the purchaser's age, remember, it's there to help you, so use it properly. Stick to the policy. Ask for ID every time you think someone looks 25 or younger, even if you know them. Also, if you don't challenge 25 every time, it could give other young people the impression that you're an easy target. Young customers could turn aggressive if you challenge them when they've seen other people not being asked to prove their age. Could I see some ID, please? What do you mean? You didn't ask him for any ID. So you need to set an example by being consistent. Give a clear message to customers and colleagues that you'll always ask for ID every time someone looks 25 or younger. If you don't, it can cost you, as these staff members found out.